One in every 20 men experience bladder leakage. If this is your situation, you're not alone. And the best part, there's help for this. In this video, I'm going to share with you my top three tips to help control your bladder leakage. Tip number one, know your anatomy. The superficial pelvic muscles are key players to keeping you dry. They also help to eliminate that annoying post-void dribble that you may experience after you pee. The bulbospongiosis muscle that you see here wraps around the base of the penis and goes up two-thirds the shaft of the penis. This muscle wraps around the penile structures, including your urethra. The external urethral sphincter wraps around underneath the bottom of the prostate. And this muscle helps to keep you continent as well. To find these muscles, imagine that you want to hold back pee. Engage these muscles by drawing your penis inward, like shortening the base of your penis or drawing your penis in. This is only temporary, guys, so don't freak out. Tip number two, keep a bladder log. For three days, go ahead and log what you eat and drink. It's really easy to identify potential dietary triggers like caffeine or alcohol that might be exacerbating your symptoms. Then comment on your bladder habits and symptoms. So for example, did you pee just in case? Or did you give yourself enough time to actually empty your bladder? Or did you rush out of the bathroom? Or did you leak with any activities like coughing, sneezing, walking, or any other exercise? Writing things down on paper is helpful to observe lifestyle habits and patterns that can be easily modifiable to help you leak less. An example bladder log can be found in the description below. And lastly, tip number three, lift your nuts to your guts. Huge credit to Joanne Melios, who is a men's health physiotherapist in Australia for that clever rhyme. Pelvic specific muscle training can significantly reduce your bladder leakage. When engaging your pelvic muscles, you want to squeeze and release. So the squeeze is just as important as the release. Where and how you focus your pelvic training is also important. So let's give this a go together. You can sit, lie down, or stand for this activity. Just be somewhere where you're not distracted and you can actually focus on this activity for just a little while. Some people also find it very helpful to gently soften their gaze or close their eyes to minimize any distractions and help increase body awareness. So when you're ready, take a few focused breaths in and out, wherever that is comfortable for you, and allow your body to relax as much as you are able in this moment. Continue to breathe naturally and comfortably throughout this entire activity. And when you're ready, intentionally activate the muscles around the base of your penis, like you wanted to shorten your penis or draw it up and inwards. While you're still breathing, gently hold this contraction, few seconds, and then let it go. Repeat this several times. If you notice that other parts of your body are working really hard, like your butt muscles, your belly muscles, or your eyebrow muscles, take notice of this, and then just see if you can soften that the next time you try. If you find that you're holding your breath often, a great tip to help with that is to just count out loud. If you find this activity challenging at first, don't sweat it. This is completely normal. There's a bit of a learning curve when it comes to this stuff, and it takes practice for this awareness to become automatic. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and hit the like button below. This will help other guys in your situation also find these resources sooner than later. If you're a penis owner who's currently struggling with pelvic pain, you're not alone. Check out the Men's DIY Pelvic Pain Relief Program. The link is in the description below.